Welcome to this Electronics for Engineers video on calculating phase difference accurately using Multisim Live. We have a series RL or resistor inductor circuit with an AC voltage supply which is at 140 Hz. The period is therefore 1 over 140 which is just over 7 milliseconds. On Multisim, we can choose interactive simulation, which will simulate in real time, or we can choose transient analysis, which just means simulating for a set amount of time. If we choose transient analysis, we need to make sure the time is enough for the reactive circuit to stabilize, but the graphs will appear straight away. We use x-axis cursors to find the time difference between the supply voltage and the resistor voltage or current. We should choose the same point on both waveforms, such as when they cross the x-axis or when they are at their maximum or minimum. The cursors give us a time difference between the voltages, which we can convert into a phase difference or phase angle. So on Multisim, I'll click the settings cog then set the transient simulation time to be 25 milliseconds, which is around four cycles of a 140 hertz signal, but you can set it for longer if you want to. Click the S for seconds, and then click Simulate. Once simulated, we need to add x-axis cursors for the supply voltage and the resistor voltage. We can turn off the traces for the current and the inductor voltage, so there's less clutter. Because we're only interested in the supply voltage and the resistor voltage, as these form the hypotenuse and the adjacent side of the phaser, respectively. So click supply voltage, make sure we've got the right ones, resistor voltage. Now we can zoom in with the mouse wheel and try to get the highlighted voltages as close to zero as we can. So we're measuring the same point on their waveforms. We can then make a note of the time difference, delta x on the bottom of the screen there in yellow, so that we can calculate the phase difference. The default setting on Multisim can be improved though, so that there's more data points on the graph, so we can more accurately find when the voltages cross the x-axis and this will give us a more accurate time difference between them to find a better phase difference overall. To do this, under simulation settings, change the maximum time step to manual. And instead of 100,000 calculations per second or one times 10 to the minus five between them, I'll change it to one times 10 to the minus seven so that there's 10 million calculations per second so it'll be easier to find a more accurate time difference to get a better phase difference. And click simulate again. And it does take longer to simulate, but we'll be able to more accurately see when the voltages are at zero crossing the x-axis. Turn off the current and inductor voltage and zoom in again, making note of where the cursors are and the voltages in the bottom left. Get them as close to zero as you can. And then note the time difference between them. It's around 600 microseconds here. So converting from a time difference to an angle or phase difference. We've got the time differences around 600 microseconds. And the frequency of our supply is 140 hertz, so 1 over 140 is just over 7 milliseconds. Well, the time difference between the voltages compared to the time in a whole cycle is the same ratio as the phase difference between them compared to the angle in a whole cycle. So delta T compared to the period is the phase difference, delta phi if you like, divided by 360 degrees. If we rearrange and we multiply both sides by 360, we end up with the phase difference phi 
is equal to 360 times the time difference divided by the period and make sure you use the correct units of time. So the phase difference is 360 times 598.59 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds divided by 7.1249 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. And we put those in our calculator using the correct power of 10. And from observation, the phase difference we found to be 30.24 degrees. We wouldn't have got that accuracy if we hadn't changed the manual time step. So let's compare it to the theoretical. The resistor voltage can be found to be 86.41 volts from the probes or the graph, and that's the adjacent side. The supply voltage is the hypotenuse and was 100 volts. So we've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we use inverse cos of 86.41 volts divided by 100 volts. And that gives us a theoretical phase difference of 30.22 degrees, which is only 0 0.02 degrees off. So that's very accurate. So really hope you've enjoyed watching this. Have a go yourselves. Um, it really is important to change the manual time step to a very small number, even though it'll take longer to simulate. But then you can definitely find very accurate phase angles on multisim.